Okay, and now we're going to uh, show you uh, an install for um, a high wind area or a cyclonic area using the, the heavy duty mounting brackets for the solar panel. Now these come in as a kit, so you get two rails. Obviously the standard two, 10 metres of uh, twin DC cable. Put that over there. And this is your the bracket kit which has all our tile feet and screws and, and end clamps etc. So we're on a nice north facing roof here. So first of all, let's establish where we're going to put the panel. And this that's about it there. Just come down from the ridge cap obviously. So that's about it there. So what I'll do, I'll just put this to the side and then I'll just kick up a couple of tiles. What you're going to find is the two top uh, cords of the truss, and uh, this is where our feet goes. So our, our tile feet will mount onto the top of the cord like that. That's how they're structured. Now with this bracket, our tile foot you, you can't have it on, on the high side of the tile because you, it can't screw in. So you have it on the, on the valley side. And you, you've got you've got a bit of a movement sideways, back and forth. So now I've already pre-drilled these. Now that's pretty much where we're going to, to sit those feet because our rail our rail connects like that. So I think that's nice and that's nice. So we're going to put three screws in there. So we'll start by doing that. Yes, I already have pre-drilled, but I'll just do one more hole. Because there's three screws that go in each each bracket. Now all the screws come provided in the kit. So it's a tech head screw. So just nice. I'll just get them all started first. Okay, so our, our two brackets, our bottom brackets are all done. Now we just uh, we can put our rail on now. And it's a fairly simple, simple process. The rail is like that. Have that channel up on the top, up high. And if you can see these lugs, they go in, they slide into there. So it goes that way. Slide the other one on. It's all right, just central it. So I'll we'll just do it with my hands, my finger tight, and you can you can adjust the height, the height whichever whichever suits. But um, just pick a height, any height. Then you can just nip them up with the Allen key. Now 
Now you can get a, um, a bit for the screw battery drill, which I've got in my tool bag, but that just does it there. So that's all nice and done, nice and tight. Now you can just pull those tiles down. Now, sometimes this tile, they could sit up because of that bracket. So what you can do is just with the claw of the hammer, you can just chip, chip a bit out underneath, just so it's when you pull it down, it just sits a bit, sits down a bit, just like that. So that's good. I'll do the same with this one. That's the bottom. Now we'll just do the top. The top rail. So I'll just get a guide because the bigger the panel, the bigger the solar panel, the longer the panel obviously, the, the further apart those brackets are. But we're using the small panel this time. So we'll pull our feet, we'll put our feet probably about there. So just put this aside. Just kick these panels piles up. Again, binding the truss, and that will go there. That will go there. Okay. I'll even pull these tiles down first. So that's nice and solid. So again I might chip just chip underneath that tile. Channel again, slide these in Just like that. Make sure the same. Just check it. Okay, so our panel will sit on there. And we have four of these adjustable clamps that will go on there to hold it down. But before we do that, 
we need to connect the cable. So, what we're we going to do first, that's the junction box for the solar panel. This is the 65 watt solar panel, and this is our cable. So, just open this junction box up first. And that's our connection for our cable. So, now, just strip, strip the outer sheath. Just be careful you don't damage the, the red and the black cables. Now, the entry to the junction box is on the bottom, which is there, and that is an anchor point. So, it's nice to get that black that black sheath up through there just under a bit more just like that start through there and then just nip it up so if anyone wants to pull that cable it's nice and solid now if you can see that there uh, Ron there's a uh, positive sign there, that's our positive, which is our red cable, and our negative, which is the black, that connects onto that side. So we'll just strip back that copper. It's actually tinned, tinned copper. Give it a bit of a twist. Now red cable in there. So you can see that. If you can see that there run. Just tighten that up. Nice and firm. Yep. And our black cable goes on this side. Just under there, just like that. Right. So there we have it. Put the cover back on. That's all connected. Just tighten these last four screws up. Junction box. So the other end of the 10 meters, we're going to poke into the roof, the roof cavity, so we can connect our lights. But first of all, I'll just put a bit of tape on the end of this cable. Not that it's it's not dangerous at all. Um, it's just good practice to just to do it. That's extra low voltage, so it's not dangerous. Okay. Now. With a tile roof, it's it's um, it's nice and easy actually, because under each under each lap of the tile, there's a little gap. I don't know if you can see that there. There's a gap just big enough for the cable to go through. So what I do is um, push the coat, push the tile up like that. I've already cut a little a little hole. With my, with my knife, so I can put my cable in there to so the guys going to install the lights. Just like that. And then I, I, I put the cable just like there, like that there. And I can just pull this down. And I do. The 
that's what you don't want to do, have it sitting on the cable. At least up this way, it can sit up there out of, out of the way. There we go, see, nice and free. So see that? Nice and free. It's all cutting down. So now we just mount our time to mount our panel. Right. To get it nice and central on the on the frame, on the rails. So this is our uh, what they call an end clamp. So again, we slide it on the lug on there and actually go up one one notch on this one. Different size panels have different uh, spacing. So we'll just nip this up just a little bit just to hold it there. Just nice and soft. Put the other one on the other side. up softly and so put the other two on Right, so now we'll just tighten these up, nice and firm. Make sure nice and central, nice and square. All right, and then we're done. And that concludes uh, mounting the solar panel with the heavy duty uh, mounting brackets on a tiled roof. Now we're going to go into the ceiling and connect these lights.